The way to live the Christian life, according to Romans 6, is under a grace approach and not a guilt-induced approach that comes from the law. We're people of grace and not of our, under law. You see, if anybody could have lived under law and wanted approval from God, it would have been Israel. They were devoted to it, but they failed miserably. And Romans 3 said they did. And God gave the law that he might stop every mouth from boasting before God as though they could be right by keeping legal commands. Listen to what Romans chapter 6 verse 14 says. For sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? By no means. When you talk to people sometimes about law and grace, the issue comes up, uh, how do you live the Christian life? Is it by law? Is it by legal commandments? And this was the Jewish argument. Do our boys have to be circumcised? Do we have to live kosher diet? Uh, what? And Galatians and Romans says, absolutely not. Has nothing to do with your acceptance with God. But he says, we live under grace. Does that mean we sin? That we're free just to do as we please? Never, never. It's a different motivation. You see, the law commands, but it does not enable. Uh, the law says do. And sure, I agree with the do. I, it's a fair command. But why do I miss it? Why do I fail? And something else happens in me. Uh, law, whether you know it or not, brings out the rebel in all of us. We don't like to be told what to do, whether it's your child or if it's an adult. Uh, and sometimes uh, I've heard people say to me, and in their voice, let's say in marriage, if I hear my wife say something that it sounds like an ultimatum or an imperative, I'll just ask her, I said, your tone sounded commanding. And we, we get tickled with each other. I said, I'm listening for a request, not a command. Why? I'm a rebel. I don't like to be told. I have to do it. And we're the same way with God. But grace comes over here and says, I beseech you because you're in Christ and because of the overwhelming kindness of God that has identified you with his son on the cross and raised you up with Christ and given you heaven as a free gift, would you live out this love? Would you live out of gratitude and say, thank you, Father, that you'd have such mercy and grace on me. I don't want to rebel. There's nothing to rebel against in grace. How do you rebel against a gift? How do you rebel against love? And say, I can't stand being loved. No, we can't stand being commanded and told you have to. And I'm afraid many Christians have reduced their Christian life to commands, rules, have to's. And so they don't enjoy the Christian life. They're always guilty. They're always beat up. They're, they're always uh, feeling, wow, uh, if it wasn't for hell, I wouldn't even want to be a Christian. I'm so miserable because I don't enjoy what they're doing. They're living under law and they're not under grace. Grace makes you happy to be at the table and with all debts paid. We are people that are not under law, but we walk by grace. We walk by the Spirit. Three things for the Christian life. We walk by faith. We walk in the power of the Spirit. and. We know that we're under grace. We're not trying to merit heaven or merit God. We're living out of gratitude to God. We are not under law, but we are under grace. Enjoy it. Quit being guilty. Confess your sin. Claim your position in Christ and go on. God didn't save us to be miserable. He saved us to feast on the riches of his grace.